the math doesn't add up. And that's why your LLM keeps changing its answers, even with temperature zero. Now, I've worked with LLMs for years. One of the most overlooked issues is reproducibility, where with the same prompt, the same model, and the same seed, and your output is all different. And in real world applications, that unreliability can be a deal breaker. So let's break it down. It's not just randomness, it's floating point math, especially with low precision formats like floating point 16 or BF16. So let's start with this number. If I use floating point 32, it keeps the representation. But if I switch to BF16 or floating point 16, it rounds it down to one. And it's that rounding error that adds up. So when I run this across benchmarks and I reduce down to floating point 16, it causes a drop in accuracy. Here you'll see, even if I'm asking it to predict the next token, after a couple of tokens, you start to see that divergence. And this non-determinism shows up in lots of different ways. When, for example, you're using different types of GPU hardware, when you have different types of parallel com computation, different batch sizes, thread scheduling, KV cache, mixture of experts models, each of these is using floating point math, all these small differences can add up. In this paper, the authors propose a fix called layer cast, where what they do is they keep the weights in the lower precision format, but cast them to floating point 32 for computation. So this way you get the memory savings of the reducing, but you get more consistent outputs. But really the big takeaway I want you to understand is why your prompts aren't always reproducible and that this is inherent in the floating point math used in these systems.